I'm gonna be honest, some of y'all too attached to like numbers, too attached to technology. What I mean when I say that is like, y'all look how many miles y'all did. Y'all like pat yourself on the back. You look at how many calories you burn on your watch, your phone, whatever it is. You pat yourself on the back. By the end of the day, is that getting you towards your goal or not? Like you can celebrate all that shit, but is it getting you closer to your goal? For an example, if your goal is to run a half marathon or a marathon, yeah, the longer you run, the better. Like running five miles, six miles, seven miles, eight miles, that's an accomplishment. That's getting you towards your fitness goals. But if your goal is to get lean, you gotta prioritize different stuff. You gotta prioritize a, a great strategy to lose fat. Just met my neighbor real quick, Dennis, cool guy. But uh, <laughs> you're about to go down to that five miles and then you stop losing weight. And then your next step is like, oh, I guess I gotta run six miles, seven miles to lose more weight. Well, that's the incorrect strategy. You're just exhausting your body. And at some point, you're just going to stop. A quick fitness tip by the professionals. They always pre-plan for that plateau. They know the plateau is coming. And they already know what to do before that plateau arrives. So y'all have to really think about it. It's not a setback when you hit the plateau. It's just what happens. And this is the most common mistake people really make. Because once you get down to that lower threshold, that, that low caloric intake, you have nowhere to go. All you're going to do is binge eat because, like, you plateau. You're going to binge eat, eat mad food. Your weight's going to spike back up. And you have nowhere to go. You're going to be depressed. You're going to be like, this diet don't work. This shit sucks. And then you're going to be not ready to work out. And you have to strategize and pre-plan your diet. Because you don't want to be unmotivated because your ass dropped your calories too low and you plateaued. That's why these fad diets begin to y'all so crazy because all they do is technically is just drop your calories so low y'all get hyped up it's a new fad diet all the time Cato, whole 30 south beach diet all that shit just drop your calories mad low y'all get excited and then your weight spike back up because you can't keep it up the best diet is the one you can stick to and it's really not that complicated some of y'all really hate counting calories and i don't understand why i understand the concept behind it seems difficult well, all you do is download MyFitnessPal, you search the food you're eating, you add it, and it shows you exactly what macros are in that food. A little Sunday gems for y'all, but you already know, that's another workout crushed.